Hello, Madakan. My name is Mike Demo. I'm so excited to uh, join you today. Um, is it possible to get my slides, um, whoever's running the broadcast room, um, also sharing on the screen with me? Um, I am so excited to uh, be with you today. Um, it's a nice 4.30 in the morning where I am here in uh, Minnesota. So we're going to give it a second to see if I can get the slides pulled up. There we go. Yay. Okay, cool. So lightning talk, five minutes. Let's go. How to have a human connection to your clients in a COVID-19 world or 2020 in general. So, uh, remember last year, New Year's Eve, about a year ago, night, uh, it was 2019, we were all ready for the year to be over. We wanted, we were so excited for 2020 to start. We're, we we're planning our businesses for the new year, planning what we're going to do, vacations, holidays, all these great things. And then the single event that was going to change this year happened. That's right. I'm talking about the Australian wildfires. Yeah, that happened this year. Remember that? Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff's happened this year, not least of which, it's also COVID. Um, so COVID-19 is going on. I hope you're staying safe, staying healthy. Um, I'm an open source evangelist and my other title is lead handshaker. So, you know, I'm not shaking a lot of hands right now. And I used to travel 150 days a year having these human connections. So I needed to find a way to pivot to do it virtually. So how do we do that? Um, you know, first of all, you need to take care of yourself. Um, it's very, uh, that's not number one. So you can't help other people if you don't take care of yourself. So how do you have a connection? How do you have a human connection in a COVID-19 world? Um, this is me going out to events. This was the last event I had this year. Um, this was in Florida at uh, WordCamp Miami at a tiki bar. And you know, we can't do this anymore. So what do we do instead? Um, first of all, email. You can send out an email touch notification. There is nothing, I don't mean a newsletter, I mean send out a personal, you know, a email saying how are you doing, how are your family, family's doing, how are you doing. Um, you need to make sure that you have those connections. So email is a very easy way to do that. You can pick up the phone. Yeah, we have these phones. They're things that you can call on. They make these things called phone calls and nobody uses it anymore, but a phone call is special. And I don't mean sales calls. I mean, just again, checking in, see how they're doing, seeing how your clients are doing and you know, seeing if there's anything that you can do to help them. Doesn't mean selling them more stuff. It just means trying to get to know them as a person. This year specifically, you need to, connect with people on a human level and the sales stuff will follow. You can do video content, you can do webinars, you can do Zoom things. Um, conferences like this is a great way to engage with people. Uh, Instagram live streams. Just remember, a lot of people have Zoom fatigue right now. So if you're going to do an event, try not to have it be like, you know, overbearing and, you know, have other ways for people to engage at their own time. But you can uh, do different sorts of video content that way. Um, send, out an, uh, send out a card. I've sent out probably a hundred cards to different people in the open source community this year. And it really is powerful. And if you don't want to do it by hand, there are services out there that will send it for you. They've turned my handwriting into a font and you know, it's written with a pen. So, you know, uh, you can hit me up on Twitter. I'm happy to recommend some, but you know, send out physical cards. Birthday cards are a big one, but you know what's even cooler is to send a half birthday card because everyone gets birthday cards. No one gets a half birthday card. So that's something that you can do that is special with that. Embrace your weirdness. Do weird stuff. You want your stuff to be memorable and you want them to remember you. What I mean by that is this is an example of some of the things that I've done this year. I've sent out personalized mugs. I've sent out Viewmasters. I've sent out cookies. I've sent 80 pounds of pasta to five of our community members at our, um, you know, in our um, open source community on our projects. I've sent custom stuffed animals of their logo mascots and there's services that do this. It's not that expensive. Um, the pot, 80 pounds of pasta only cost um, 20 bucks per person and they loved it. It got so much attention on Twitter and social media and our slacks. Um, people remember experiences and talk about them. 
that's very foremost. It also makes sense. You are five times more likely to close a deal through an existing relationship. According to Marketing Matrix, brand and company says it costs seven times more to land a new client than sell through an existing one. And you also send clients who are referred by a friend four times more likely to buy from you. So when you think about all your marketing, don't think about the uh, client acquisition costs. Think about your referral acquisition cost. You need to budget um, and figure how much does it cost for you to get a referral from an existing customer and the human connections are going to do this. Um, you also want to be genuine. You want to show your personality. An example of that is I recently came out as part of a member of the LGBT uh, community as pansexual on my blog and I've gotten hundreds of messages from people in the community telling me um, how it appreciates them and I tie this back in to my communications and it, it fosters conversations. So that's five minutes. My name is Mike Demo. Please follow me on Twitter at MP Mike um, and I'd love to learn about how you're having a human connection in this COVID-19 world. Um, have a good holiday season and uh, stay safe.